Start experimenting. What's the worst that could happen? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello compassionistas, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? It's Eva here, helping you transform your style without the need for fast fashion. Confused? Today we're going to explore something a little bit different, and that is trial and error. All designs start with an idea, and this idea can stay in your head, or you could take a pen and paper, draw it out, write it down, or try to experiment hands-on and take pictures to document your progress. The thing is that most ideas that we get never come to fruition. There may be different reasons for this. We may think that we don't have time. We may think that the idea is not quite as good. And even that people may laugh at what we have come up with. We may be also worried that we don't have enough skills to do it. And as a result, we never start. I have learned a lot from being a designer and a creative and one of the lessons that I have learned is to always ask myself this question. What's the worst that could happen? And this could be applied not just to fashion and design, but pretty much to anything else. Let's take, for example, my personal experience with starting with this channel, which is something I had absolutely no idea how to do. I didn't have the skills to do it either. I sat on the idea for about six months um, wanting to create a channel and at the time I thought it was going to be called Eva Pondezon uh, which has now evolved to Fashion Transformation with Eva. But for six months I wanted to do it and I didn't do it for the variety of reasons that I listed. And then one day I went out on a walk because it was a really nice day and I just felt like it. And I just decided to start filming. And the thing is I thought maybe that'll be it. Maybe I'll just post that video, why not? At the time, I was very much influenced by a YouTuber, Casey Neistat, and his amazing way to communicate his ideas. So a lot of my first videos, a lot of cuts and a lot of B-rolls, uh, but also I said something about fashion and fast fashion and sustainable fashion. And I also wore my favorite boots that I bought for two pounds from a secondhand shop. And that was it. I didn't know how to put a video together. I didn't know how to edit videos. I didn't know how to uh, work out YouTube, where to find music from. I just had to learn all this within a matter of days. And I basically started before I was ready. And sometimes you just need to start before you're ready, having answered the question in advance of what's the worst that could happen. I had to follow up. Once that first episode was out, I just had to keep going and build on the idea. Again, just like with design, you start with one idea and then you build on it or you just come with more and more ideas uh, and it just evolves. So, I focus on showing you my experimental work from making jewelry out of beach litter to making a waistcoat out of an abandoned tent covered in moss. Because was the worst that could happen. I also did a couple videos with friends helping them mend their favorite clothes because what's the worst that could happen? And then one day I thought, what if I took one single garment, a jumper in this case, and reinvented 10 times in some quick and easy steps? Because what's the worst that could happen? But most recently I've shown you full upcycling projects as well as small easy to follow redesign tips to help you rediscover your wardrobes because what is the worst that could happen? I've learned so much since the start and things have evolved and I have found my way how I'm doing things and I always try to find value to share with you. So it's always good to keep it positive and keep going. There are things that simply didn't work and things that I'm very happy with. Just like an afternoon of sewing, sometimes it can be quite frustrating and things don't work out as well as I want them to and sometimes I'm on fire. This channel has become a bit of a digital sketchbook of sorts and for creative sketchbooks are really important when it comes to ideas and I encourage you if you are at a point of experimenting with your clothes or thinking about it, if you start a sketchbook to log your progress it really helps and you could always go back to ideas. When starting something new, it can be very intimidating and you may be even shy about putting your skills to the test. 
But if you ask yourself the question, what is the worst that could happen? And you find that you're okay with the answer of things might not work out as well as you hope then you're on your way for great success in whatever you decide to do. Accepting this and understanding that you are your worst critic is truly liberating. Stay behind your ideas, keep going, evaluate if something goes wrong and build on the progress. If you cut into something and things don't work out, that's okay because you can always alter things and change the outcome and this could actually work out even better. I recently actually made a video on this, what happens when selling goes wrong, I'll put it in the description below and uh, in the end, even though my initial idea wasn't what actually was the result of what I tried to do, the result was even better. So sometimes mistakes are actually there for a reason and you should embrace them and you should learn from them and you should build on them. Some ideas may still not materialize and some ideas may stay in your head for a long time and then might come out at most unexpected times when you're ready for them. When I started this channel, what I wanted to do is actually have a glass of GMT and talk to you about sustainable fashion. But now I still have a glass of GMT because it's actually Sunday, it's a nice day and it's a nice uh, day to have a glass of GMT. And what I want to talk to you about is how you can build, transform your style and your confidence in your skills to build a wardrobe you love because, as Yves Saint Laurent said, fashion fades and style is eternal. And this, in my opinion, is the most sustainable way of looking at it. If you want to improve your skills in redesign and upcycling, if you want to gain confidence in these skills, and if you are curious about sustainable styling, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell button at the bottom of this video so you know when I upload next. Share with your friends, like this video, even comment. It all helps in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and for your time. I hope you have found this useful. And until next time, stay creative and see you there.